Alrighty, so I thought this would be a really fun video to show you guys on how I make my Christmas Doodle Advent calendars every year. I've been doing these since 2015. Now, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but I have done a couple of videos on my Christmas Advent calendars before. Every year I make these where I count down with doodles of a Christmas themed character. Now it's not exactly like a Christmas themed character. It's like taking a, cr a character from any kind of universe, DC, Marvel, Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, Disney, anything, any kind of awesome cartoon and transforming them into a Christmas theme. So you saw that the first one was year 2017, the watercolor was 2018, and then this one was last year, which was 2019. Now I get these ginormous pieces of paper and what I do is I just do I like I fill it up with all kinds of Christmas doodles but I do one a day and I post them on Instagram so let me show you where I get these ginormous doodles now I haven't found like the wall where Michaels has these big pieces of paper um but here's my local Hobby Lobby legit my Hobby Lobby is like right down from my apartment complex so and the Michaels is like 30 minutes away so I just went ahead and I just went and grabbed my big piece of paper now I've, Hobby Lobby has this huge wall full of big pieces of paper now you've got different kinds of papers different kinds of brands art boards for different kind of projects and what I like to do is I like to buy the um Last year I actually got a Crescent illustration board, but this year I got a Canson Smooth Bristol Board art board. Now this thing is huge and I'm able to start each drawing with a three by three inch box or two and a half by two and a half inch box. And I'm able to fit about 25 comfortable boxes all over my art board. And these are actually fairly cheap. They're like $4.99. And if you go walking in with the intention of buying one item with that 40% coupon, you can use the 40% coupon off of this board and it ends up doing like what? $3? <laughs> so you see, I'm going in and I'm adding my three by three inch boxes or two and a half by two and a half inch boxes. Now the thing is, I get the boxes on there, however, it's kind of sporadic and I liked how last year it wasn't really uniform and I drew outside my boxes on my artboard and that's what I'm doing. So here's my oh hoo hoo markers. Oh hoo hoo. I'm using these this year for my wonderful advent calendar and I really like oh hoo hoo markers. They're great alcohol markers to start off with if you're ever interested in getting into alcohol markers. These are for you. No, this is not sponsored. I just really like oh hoo hoo markers. Plus, um, they're more, they're easier to travel with, and I don't know, I, I, I get a little bit of anxiety sometimes when I take my Copic markers places. I, I'm not using my Copic markers on this. I like to use my Copic markers for better, bigger projects, if that makes any sense, like commissions and stuff, or like more professional projects, but Ohuhu markers are really nice. They're great quality. They're almost exactly like Copic markers. And, but I just, I get, I get anxiety taking those things places. So <laughs> that's why I'm using Ohuhu markers. They're just easier to carry. And I've got this, the cute little traveling case too. So to start off 2020's advent calendar, I usually ask for suggestions on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably are really like, like you know what's going on. <laughs> I asked for in the comments, who should I draw? And since the poll feature has been added to the stories, I've been asking, okay, it's between, you know, um, goodness, Totoro and um, SpongeBob. Who should I draw today? And I put it up on the poll in my story. You guys vote and I go, okay, that's who it is. When it comes to picking characters, you guys help me pick characters and sometimes I pick my own. Like last year I did a whole week just because I wanted to of The Office. Like I did Classy Claws, Michael Scott. I did Jim and Pam with the green teapot and I did Dwight as the, um, goodness, what was he? He was like some weird Krampus dude. <laughs> I don't 
no. Oh, the, the bear schnickel. <laughs> so I did the office characters and then um, the 2018 watercolor char uh, character advent calendar. I did a whole week of Marvel characters. And what you do is you pick a character and then you spin it with a little bit of Christmas magic. So on this one, you can see I've got little baby Goroku. <laughs> yeah, it's spoiler alert. <laughs> oh. oh, if you don't know what's going on, then watch The Mandalorian. Spoiler alert, I don't even care. I love it. So I have Mando and little baby Grogu. Grogu is like lit using the force to levitate all these awesome little Christmas decorations. And then I've got Mando with every intention of putting a candy cane scarf around his neck that's what i do every year i grab a character and i put something on them it could be a santa claus hat it could be an elf hat and the background with my boxes i always alternate back and forth with red and green now it could be different colors obviously with grogu i'm gonna use a red background because he's green it just depends on what color is dominating the box that day but I always use a pattern. I don't know, I might throw blue in there for some snow because snow is always in the background too. I love to use the pattern boxes. And doing the pattern boxes, I've got like green, red, green, red, green, red, and then it gets into like the full thing and then it's a beautiful checkerboard of green and red. Now you can do any color you want. You don't have to stick to the green and red. This is just a fun way to keep up with the Christmas spirit. I love doing these advent calendars i remember following one artist and um we i just loved the idea that she was doing an advent calendar and it was cute and i was just like oh i want to do that too so i did that and ever since 2015 i've just done these every year it helps with um you know this time's kind of crazy and this year 2020 it's crazy it's it's so bad this year <laughs> so i want to be more involved with the christmas spirit because i i was telling steven my husband i was just like you know doesn't feel like Christmas. It, it was December 1st and I was talking to him and I'm just like, it just doesn't feel like Christmas. I mean, I, I feel like all the spirit and the funny fuzzy feelings of Christmas have been sucked out of me. <laughs> so I'm trying different ways to like, you know, be closer to Christmas because this year has been so rough and we have not had a break. And I mean, Inktober made me so happy just being more dedicated to my ink drawings and just getting in there. And I really want this advent calendar to be special. I just, I really want to go for it. And I mean, I, I'm even thinking about decorating the sides and stuff in the end. And I can't decorate, I cannot decorate the sides now. I could probably do like each one and add like, you know, little lights or ornaments or tinsel and stuff, but I can't. The thing is, I don't want to draw around my doodles until the boxes are full. And I haven't done that in a while. I don't think it's, it's been a long time. I think that with the tan tone paper, the first one, the 2017 one, was the last time I actually drew around the boxes. So that's the thing. Um, yeah, so I, I wait till all my boxes are full, but I don't plan them out yet if that makes sense the thing is i just i got my boxes laid out but it might draw outside of them like mando's outside of his box right now and i even manipulated to where you know i move the box over for him that's the thing is just like i don't like the uniform look but i have them planned out with um i used a color race pencil so that if that makes any sense at all just don't like restrict yourself so once you draw out your boxes, don't line them. Do not line them. Just let them be pencils, pencil marks, or let them be your color race mark, uh, color race pencil marks. Do not line your boxes. If you do the advent calendar, leave it open. It looks really bare right now because you got this big old piece of paper and all these boxes and none of them are full. That's okay. Just leave it alone. You do not want to restrict yourself. That's a big key thing. Don't draw around your boxes yet and don't line around your boxes yet. That's a huge key. And man, oh man, let me tell you guys, Mandalorian, Mando is 
tough to draw. He's really tough. And if you can see, I'm kind of like at an angle trying to like, the thing is this big old board is ginormous and it was really hard to get it underneath my camera and to draw around it. And I'm trying to like draw around on the side and I'm like trying not to bend it. That's a huge thing with these boards too. I rolled on top of the one last year. I don't know if you saw the huge dent on my 2019 calendar, but huge dent in it, rolled on top of it with my chair. I'm an idiot. So I'm going to try to keep better care of this one to keep it out of the way. That's what's nice is these boards, they don't bend as well. Like if you get the corners or whatever, I've done the watercolor actually turned out nice, but the big tan tone piece of paper, you could see it got rolled up because I was taking it with me to places for the holidays and you know, it got ruined. So you gotta be careful with how you like transport it if you go places for the holidays for Christmas and everything. So it's just difficult, but you figure you get a stride and this board is actually the best thing. And I'm using a white Posca pen instead of a white gel pen. Just shows up better everything's beautiful and bright so but yeah you don't store storing it and keeping it safe yeah it's just all different but yeah here it is guys the beginning of 2020 christmas doodle calendar it's really fun it gets you in the christmas spirit guys it'll help you trust me 2020 has been rough and this is a great way to kickstart the christmas season and if you guys participate in this fun like doodle advent calendar christmas challenge tag me on instagram i love seeing them and i was even thinking about filming every day on tiktok like doing little little videos every day of my little christmas doodles on my tiktok i you know it's the same dramatic parent self-promotion <laughs> but yes guys i will be posting every day on instagram of this wonderful doodle advent calendar you can go and follow me on there and see what i'm drawing out every day and even comment who you want to be seen drawn as a christmas character theme so yeah i'll be posting on tiktok and on instagram so make sure you follow along and i would love to see your guys's christmas advent calendars hope this is a fun way to start a season and i will see you all later merry christmas Boop.